I go to flip my first fish and it's sticking to the grill. Oh man. This is the first time all season that I feel that I screwed up. Ugh. Sheldon, please pack your knives and go. And I'm going home. Come tomorrow, I cook Pleasure, you. Pleasure, man. <laughs> Everything's a blur. Standing there in this cenote, all alone. But I feel this energy. For some reason, I'm okay with this. You know, Sheldon, I really think you're gonna take your place among the greats in this country cooking, not only from Hawaii, but in America. I really believe that. Thanks, Chef. I'm just hoping that touch everyone's heart this season. Thank you, Sheldon. I am proud that I had to share a, a moment, a memory with everyone. It's been an amazing journey. Hi, Sheldon. What did you make for us? I made a whole grilled yellow snapper. Then we have some Yucatan vegetables simply on the side. You, you broke essence. up the fish to mimic crab, or did you just mess up the grill? Yes, the, that grill was... was <laughs> So you didn't break it up to make it look like crap? No, I, no. That, that would have been the answer. He's trying to help you out. <laughs> I screwed up and I know it. This is the first elimination challenge that I'm not in control. My fish was not how I wanted it to turn out. There's so many different factors that are going on. The heat of the fire, not having use of acidity. But I've been doing great all season. I've been super consistent. I've won a challenge and a couple of quick fires. I'm just disappointed that I've come so far and something as simple as cooking a fish on a grill takes me down. Sheldon, can you walk me through your dish? How did you come up with the items you made? Some of the ingredients mimic some of what we use in Filipino cooking, so I knew I wanted to use uh, the chayote and also the carabasa. You know, Sheldon, I think the flavors in your dish were, they were really good. I liked the vegetable cookery, but the fish was stuck to the grill. It's just, it's, it's hard to overlook that. This season, I'm wholly a different chef than I was in Seattle. In the finale, I was eliminated because I just wasn't myself. Tonight, it seemed like you were reaching for something different. Unfortunately, in reaching for that, you kind of lost yourself a little back there. In the end, you always have to be yourself, man. That's why it's Top Chef has been a blessing because from that moment on, I grew as a chef. This food is what I associate with you. Thank you. Thanks, Grandma. Top Chef showed me I can be proud about myself, be proud about where I've come from, how blessed I am and how thankful I should be for, for what I have in my life. Hawaii, my home, my husband, my father. I'm gonna keep on living life with aloha in my heart and spreading it across the world. Chi.